Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Status Epilepticus. Status Epilepticus is a neurological emergency and it is defined as either ongoing seizure activity or repetitive seizures without recovery of consciousness for more than 30 minutes. There are a few causes, possible causes of Status Epilepticus, which include new onset epilepsy, drug intoxication or drug withdrawal, especially if the patient missed any anticonvulsant doses, those children who had epilepsy history, hypoglycemia, electrolyte imbalance, trauma to the head, any intracranial infection, ischemic stroke or hemorrhage, metabolic disorders, and also hypoxia. These are all the causes that could have caused the seizure. So, status epilepticus is a neurological emergency. So, this is the emergency management if the patient presents with prolonged seizure. So, if the seizure is more than 5 minutes duration, then we label it as impending status epilepticus. And we should give per rector diazepam or bocal midazolam. In the hospital, once we obtain intravenous access, then we can change to IV diazepam. So, after the prorector and IV diazepam, if the seizure still continue, so after giving the diazepam, then we monitor for 5 to 10 minutes. If it still persists, then we can give another drug, which is the intravenous phenytoin. And then look at the patient for another 5 to 10 minutes. If the seizure is not aborted yet, then we should consult the pediatrician. And then we can consider giving IV midazolam or phenobarbitone or other drugs such as sodium valproate or levetiracetam. So while all of this are going on, so first actually we should ch check the airway breathing and circulation. So ensure adequate ventilation, adequate ABC, check the bedside blood sugar to rule out hypoglycemia causing the seizure. And if on maintenance phenytoin, then give IV phenobarbitone. Also monitor the blood sugar, the blood electrolytes, blood counts, liver function, and also blood gas. And the investigations to find out the cause will be explained later on in the next slide. So if the seizure is not aborted even after 60 minutes, then we should discuss with the pediatric neurologist for further management. So these are the investigations we can do to find out what was the cause of the status epilepticus. So the laboratory investigations include full blood count, glucose, bills and creatinine, magnesium and phosphate, blood and urine toxicology screening can be done as well. So if the child is healthy with a self-resolved and unprovoked seizure and with a normal physical and neurological examination, then no laboratory investigation is required. However, if the clinical presentation does not meet those criteria and we are suspecting for acute symptomatic seizures, then evaluation for potentially life-threatening causes such as meningitis, sepsis, or head trauma and toxins must be investigated. So those are the lab investigations we can do. So depending on the child's condition, if they have clinical signs and symptoms of meningitis, such as neck stiffness, or Kernick sign and Brodzinski sign positive, or the history of physical examination suggestive of intracranial infection, then we should do a lumbar puncture for cerebral spinal fluid analysis, which is the CSF analysis. And it is done to analyze the cell counts, the protein and glucose levels. So other tests that we can do are, for example, in neonates, they may require testing for inborn errors of metabolism, which is the IEM test. Urine and stool culture and polymerase chain reaction for herpes simplex virus, cytomegalovirus and enterovirus should be considered as well. This is to evaluate for any infection present. And EEG, which is the electroencephalogram, it is the most useful neural diagnostic test to differentiate seizures from non-epileptic paroxysmal disorders 
and also for classifying seizures as having focal or generalized onset. So EEG can be done and also other imaging such as CT or MRI can be done to look for brain pathologies. That could be the cause. So that's all for this video. Thank you.